Hi Air Signs, welcome to a bonus reading for Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We're going to go sign by sign and see who is coming towards you in love for the month of October. So this was a poll that you guys all voted for. You wanted to see who was coming towards you. So that's what we're doing. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Make sure that you comment, please. Comments are how we get the messages out. Um, it's really critical at the moment that you are commenting on your favorite YouTubers. Even if I'm not your favorite YouTuber, comment anyway, because that's how the algorithm is working at the moment. It will change again. It always does. But for the moment, it's very affected by comments. Um, if you find that this resonates and you would like more specific information for your situation, you can book a personal read using the details below. Uh, otherwise, if it's not resonating and you need more specific information, you can also book a, a, a personal read using the details below. But let's get started and see who is coming towards Gemini. Let's start with Gemini. So who's coming towards Gemini for the month of October 2020 in love? Who's coming towards Gemini in love for the month of October 2020? Gemini. Good news. I am going to start weekly reads again next week. So I know that I promise that they be back. Here we go. And they're coming back. So that's really good news. Oh, look at this. Seven of Pentacles. Beautiful. So Gemini, this is something you've really been waiting for. Yeah, there's been a lot of, I feel like you feel like you've been healing forever and you've been waiting for the right person to come along. Um, and you're using all of those pentacles are little lessons that you've kind of learned along the way. You're looking at the healing that you've done and you're reflecting and, and there's no confusion. Like you know that you don't want to be juggled anymore. You're not, um, it's almost like you have a new standard and you're not putting up with anything less than that standard. What is the two of pentacles please? Yeah, you've got your wall up in terms of, but it's a good wall. I love this card because he's got his wall up. It's like careful but cautious. He's got his wall up, but see how there's little gaps between the wall so that people can still see in, people can still reach through, people can still touch him. It's not a wall made of stone where everyone's shut out. It's a, I'll let you see into my wall but I'm not going to let you on the other side until I totally trust you. And this is the lesson you've learned. So it's kind of like you've learned how to protect yourself without being defensive and shutting people out, which is really amazing. Uh, tell me more about the seven, please. I'm not seeing anything specific coming in, though. Okay. Yeah, so these are battles from the past with this five of swords. Six of Swords in reverse, please. Yeah, okay. So it's telling me at the moment that you still are in a healing phase and you are not ready to accept that pentacle just yet. So for the month of October, it doesn't look like there's anyone specific coming towards you. But um, what is amazing is all this stuff that's happening around that pentacle. It's like this, this guy's in the middle and all of this amazing progress is what you're actually getting out of this month so keep going with that Gemini because what will happen is once you go through this completion you flip this you move into that you know shorter term healing phase you flip this as well because they're tied together and that is when your opportunity comes in okay so it's just around the corner I would almost say um, November. Is there anything coming towards Gemini November, please? I'm just going to ask the question because otherwise you'll, I can't leave you wondering. That would drive me crazy. Oh, there you go. <laughs> so you ask a question and the tarot answers. Yes. So the answer is October. No, you're st you've still got some work to do here. November, it's all coming up Gemini. Amazing. Loving it. You've got the Ten of Pentacles there, long-term stable commitment, all of your dreams coming true, abundance. You're almost there, Gemini, like you're right on the precipice. You're right on the edge. So super exciting. All right, Gemini, let's go for Libra. Let's see who is coming toward Libra. Coming towards Libra. 
for October 2020. Who is coming towards Libra in love for October 2020? I hate how I say that. Such an Aussie draw, 2020. We call that a bogan here. I don't know what you guys call it. I think in the UK they call them chavs. Similar. All right, who's coming towards Libra 2020, October in love? Okay, Hierophant in reverse. Could be a Taurus. Three of Wands. Libra, I feel like you're turning down commitment offers. Yeah, <laughs> you're waiting for your perfect person and, and you're not interested in anything other than proper commitment. What is the five, oh, sorry, the five. What is the Hierophant in reverse? Why is the Hierophant in reverse, please, for Libra? Why is the Hierophant in reverse? If you've been dealing with a Taurus, you're actually in the process of getting over this Taurus and it will be successful. But look at this. You've got the, the um, Knight of Pentacles, sorry. So this is kind of like you're waiting for that stable long-term commitment. And if it's not, um, and it is taking a little while, which is, again, why you're waiting, because it is the slowest moving night in the deck. But with this Hierophant in reverse, it's like, well, if it doesn't look like it's going to be forever, I'm not interested. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for my success. I'm waiting for, um, you know, someone who treats me the way that I deserve to be treated, someone who gives me lots of attention, um, treats me like a king or queen. Like this isn't just about success. This is about, you know, having, being showered with affection and love and all of those sorts of things that you deserve. Um, and I think that you're waiting for someone who measures up to that success. What is this six of wands, please? Yeah, I think in the past, um, Oh, I just got for some of you, you actually want someone who's a little bit jealous. Um, but I think in the past that you've had people that have made you jealous or there's been a lot of jealousy, infidelity, that sort of stuff, maybe cheating. And, and you want to make sure that that person does, like you again, unless this person is secure and long term, you're not interested. So there might be lots of people around you, but you're waiting for that perfect one. So... Do I think, do I see the perfect one coming in October? Because you really have set, you've set yourself up like a, a series of expectations, like a non-negotiables list, which I love, P.S. Um, and you're not deviating from that. And I can't see that anyone in October is, is meeting those ex expectations, those non-negotiables for October. That does not mean that there are not people around you. What is the three of wands, please? Oh, we just got two. Okay. Yeah, I think it's, I think even though it's make it's not making you particularly happy, like you, I think you're a bit lonely. You're probably, you know, you don't have that happily ever after. You're still making the decision. You're still following that path to wait. Like you're, you're like, I'm not deviating from this path anymore. I am not going to settle for anything less. All right. Is, uh, Tell us if there's anyone coming towards Gemini. Okay, that's lovers in the reverse. Anyone coming towards Gemini by the end of the year? Now this can change to remember Gemini. So that's your card in reverse, PS. Okay, so it might be a good decision for you not to have anyone between now and the end of the year um, because you don't want to be with someone and that distracts you from you achieving your ultimate goal here. Um, you've got the judgment in reverse, which is kind of saying, yeah, you, you, you need to wait a little bit longer, unfortunately. Sorry, I've just realized that I'm doing Libra. So some of you may be dealing with a Gemini. I don't know why I had Gemini in my head. We just did Gemini. I actually wonder whether, um, <laughs> you may actually meet a Gemini now that I've realized we're doing Libra that is not a good long-term fit for you or you have a past Gemini that's coming back before the end of the year who might not be what you're actually looking for in your long-term goals. I don't know why I'm so tongue-tied. 
So this person may make you tongue-tied, they may frustrate you. Yeah, there's communication coming in from this person. Um, so previous relationship that didn't work out is probably going to circle back and come around. Maybe not a good idea. Certainly doesn't fit to this. Didn't meet your expectations the first time around. Probably isn't going to meet your expectations the second time around. That makes a little bit more sense now that I've realized that I'm not reading for Gemini. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Libra. Um, Aquarius. What have we got for Aquarius? Who is coming toward Aquarius for in love for the month of October 2020? Who's coming towards Aquarius? In the month of October, in love for 2020. Here we go. I think I need a glass of water. That's why I'm tongue-tied. Oh, look at this judgment card coming out in the upright for you guys. You do see me shuffle them. Like, I don't make it up. I can't help it that the same cards keep appearing for you guys. All right, five of swords in reverse. Aquarius. Who is coming towards Aquarius in love? October 2020. Ooh, okay. Could be a Capricorn coming towards you. This is someone who I feel like you cannot let go of because there's this betrayal here. Um, if this is someone new they might be a little bit toxic but it's almost like they've been dropped into your life for a reason with the judgment card here the angel is very strong on this card for me so it's almost it could be a karmic lesson for you also with the devil in the upright um but ultimately i'm not sure that they're going to be very good for you aquarius what is the five of swords in reverse please it's a five of swords in reverse Oh, okay. So it's almost like this betrayal leads you to a happily ever after. Tell me more about this, please. What's going on with the Five of Swords, Ten of Cups? Five of Swords in reverse, Ten of Cups in the upright. Oh, okay. So this betrayal causes you to make a decision, which will actually lead you to your Ten of Cups. So mm, what is the Devil card? What is the devil card? And it's a quick decision too. It's not a faffing about decision. Yeah, look at this. Okay, so this is probably a Capricorn then um, or someone with strong Capricornic energy. It's almost like this intervention happens. Maybe you've got just gone through a breakup or a betrayal, but the decision to let this go is actually leading you to a happy ever after with the Knight of Cups here and the Ten of Cups on top of this devil card. Um, tell me more. And you've got, you had the page of pentacles on the bottom too. Tell me more about this devil card because for many of you, it won't be a Capricorn. So I'm trying to understand, is there an element of codependency here because you're coming out of something and into something new? Maybe that's just something to be aware of. This card wants to show itself. Okay. So it looks like you're letting go. You may be letting go of a past toxic situation um, and by letting go, it's actually leading you to love. There's it, And by that, I can tell this is someone that is helping you through your heartbreak, someone close to you, or it's almost, I feel like it's a sliding doors moment where one door closes, where you cut this person off and you're like, no, nah, I'm done. And then like you accidentally meet this new person. That's how I feel. And it's almost like, it is, it's a one door open, sorry, one door closes, another door opens kind of situation with this judgment here. This is, you know, the universe intervening and going, hey, you need to, you can't hold on. You only have two hands. So you have to let go of one thing so you can pick up the other thing. Um, that's exactly what's happening. So as soon as you let go of this, this whatever's happening, like this betrayal, this person who has betrayed you that is probably toxic um, and you make that decision, that is when all your ships come in. Um, yeah, it's telling me you need to let go of this toxic energy because, again, once you release that, you get this Knight of Cups and this Ten of Cups. This is going to come out of nowhere. I don't even think it's someone that you know. It could be a water sign, a lot of water here, 
but it's it is it's your happily ever after it's a knight in shining armor whether you're a male or female it's a it's an expression um but yeah it is just you're not even going to know it but you must put down this toxicity and not just like tell yourself you're going to put it down like you've really got to release it um like properly energetically release it and that is when it's coming in for you oh Hello, on the bottom of the deck, I only just saw that lover's card. So absolutely. So your new thing is just there. It's right on the edge for you, Aquarius, but you must energetically cut off whatever's toxic betrayal has been going on. And I feel like maybe the universe has been trying to get you to let go of this for some time. You might keep picking it up again. It's saying if you keep picking it up, you must make this clear decision because that's the key. These two cards are the key of the reading. All right, Aquarius, that's what I've got. All air signs. Thank you so much. Um, this was a quick little bonus. Like I said, weekly readings are coming back next week. Yay, very exciting. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like I said, if you need more information to your situation specifically, make sure that you reach out for a personal reading using the details below. Otherwise, I'll talk to you very soon. Bye.